Howdy virtual farmers, it's Nick and welcome to Fernie Forge. Today we're diving into the digital fields of farming simulator for an epic adventure. From ploughing to harvesting, we're going to explore everything this game has to offer. Whether you're a seasoned farmer or a green thumb in the making, this is the place for you. Ready for a harvest of gaming fun? Smash that subscribe button and ring the bell. Let's grow this community together. I'm Nick and you're at Fernie Forge. Welcome to the farm. Alright, so today we are going to start from scratch. I don't like playing games in easy or medium modes. I like to play them in the hardest difficulties available. I like a challenge, so this is what we're going to do. Um, I love the scenery on how the bale are on, so this is where we will start too. Right, so this is our character. I'm not going to bore you with some character creation stuff, so we'll just get straight into the game. Um, and first thing I'm going to do is actually change the game time into real time. Right, so first things first, let's check to see what um, farms are available because we do need to get a farm. Um, and this looks like it's a cornfield right now. Um, I'm not sure when you have to actually harvest corn. It looks like it's pretty close to harvest, so let's have a quick look in here. Corn is harvested in two months' time. Okay, that's not too bad. So what we'll do is we'll do some contracts up until um, our corn needs to be harvested. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly check to see if there's any decent contracts. Now, is this fertilizing one? I am going to accept that because fertilizing is really good for a return of investment. So I am going to do that one to begin with. So I'm just going to set that one as active, just so then another farmer doesn't steal the job from me. Now I'm not really too interested in these ploughing ones, because they are quite time consuming. However, I could hire someone to actually complete these for me. However, we may be sat there waiting for a while for these to complete. Now I don't mind waiting, whereas you guys, you won't have to wait. It will just I'll, I'll just skip to that. But for now, we'll just stick with the fertilising. Um, and we will do this contract instead. Okay, so obviously we do have this piece of land. Um, well, we don't actually own it just yet, so we will go and purchase it because there's one thing which I always do, um, and that is sell this house. Now, I know that seems a little bit counterintuitive. However, this house is actually worth more than the land. The land cost me £148,000, and if I actually go and sell this house now this house is worth more than the land so I'm going to do that and look we've got 20 grand more and this land has basically cost us nothing however we do need a house of some form so we are just going to be dropping a trailer down here um, now I know it's not ideal to be living in, out of a trailer but for this circumstance it makes complete sense okay because we'll need to sleep at some point and we don't exactly need a great big farmhouse now, do we? But one thing which I do like to do straight off the cuff is clean up this land a little bit because we've got like a multiple different materials. We've got grass here, gravel here. In fact, that might just be dirt, um, gravel here, and then a different texture going on there. We've got some stone bricks going along here, more concrete there. So I just want to make this whole area just one great big material so we're going to go into painting mode um, and I think I'm just going to make it concrete for the time being um, obviously we can go and adjust that later on at some point but for now I think concrete is probably our best option this way you know it just looks a little bit tidier because obviously this is put like this because you're supposed to place buildings in certain places etc however I don't like to place buildings where the game wants me to. I like to place them where I want to place them. So we'll make this concrete. Okay, now we've got this nice flat area. It's not it's not 1% flat, but you know, it's flat enough. Okay. Right. So that did cost me a little bit more than that I anticipated. It's not the end of the world though. We are 11 minutes into the day and I don't want to waste any longer. Okay. So Let's have a quick look in the used vehicle sale, see if there's anything worth grabbing. And it doesn't look like there is. Um, no, there isn't. Okay, so we're going to start off with a medium tractor. Um, as I always do, it just makes more sense. Now, 
This is 175 brake horsepower compared to the 170 over here. The more power, the better. It's got a larger tank as well. You know, for an extra two and a half grand, it's it's not too bad. I'm gonna keep the wide tires. I think I'm gonna add a front load attacher, so then we can actually use this in the future as a forklift as well. Okay, that will save us a ton of money instead of having to buy a forklift for like moving silage, moving hay, whatever we want to move, okay? I'm going to purchase this guy, it's £103,000. Brilliant, I ain't going to change the colour either because it's, it's John Deere and we want it to be the John Deere colours. So we've accepted a fertilising contract, so that requires us to have a fertiliser of some form. Now this guy will do us justice because we're not doing any liming, we're only doing some fertilisation. So I will purchase that, I'm going to need like three of these just to fill up our fertiliser. We'll do that and... We're probably going to need a small weight to go on the front of the, the tractor, especially with having so much weight on the back. We're going to need to have a counterweight of some form. And I think 900 kg should be enough. So we will go for a John Deere, just so then it, it all matches pretty much, okay? Okie dokie, so that's £130,000 we've just spent on vehicles and just under five and a half grand we've spent on fertilizer. Now I know what you're thinking, Nick, that contract's only five grand, why have you just spent five grand on fertilizer? Well, you know, in the future if we do more of these fertilizing contracts, we are going to make our money back sooner or later. Right, so let's jump into our vehicle and let's get them ready for moving. Now, I forgot to change the number plate. I keep doing that. It says A A A A A A A, but um, really we want it to be Fernie Forge, don't we? Oh, I love the sound of these tractors in this game as well. Now, we shouldn't have much of an issue with the weights and stuff like that. It should. It should be pretty damn good. Okay, so I can fit 3,200 litres into here, but... I'm just, I've just bought enough so then I haven't got any left over and sat here. Right, so we've got to go to farmland number 11, uh, which is just here. Okay, it seems like a big piece of land, but when it comes to fertilising, it's not really because we can do 42 metres across each length so it actually won't take as long as you think i think i'm gonna quickly change my number plate before i do bugger off up there and we are going to call it fairy farm okie dokie let's hit x and there we have it so as you can see i am playing with a controller it, it does just make the game a little bit easier especially when you're driving around and stuff like that now, i am playing on pc though and through the xbox pass now if you did have the Xbox Pass, it is free on there currently, which I think is a pretty damn good deal, because I do love this game. Uh, now obviously we do have all this extra weight, so we are going to struggle with our weighting, you know, we've got nearly a ton on the front, and then a couple of tons on the back actually, if we think about how much this all this fertiliser would actually weigh. Alright, so let's make our way up to that farm. So remember guys, I've got two months until my crops are ready on that farm I've just purchased. So until then, we've really got to try and rake in as much money as possible. And I've found that the best way to do it is fertilising crops for other people. Now this only pays us around six grand, so it just about covers the costs of the fertiliser. However, after we've done a couple of fertilising jobs, it will be completely covered by them. Right yo, okay. So we can see it's quite a big farm. Now what I tend to do, because obviously I can do forty two meters at a time, is down in your left corner on your map you've got your angle and you've got your coordinates. So I like to take note of what coordinates um, I'm at so 457 on the y-axis and then if I just add 21 onto that in fact minus 21 from it we, we're at 436 okay so I can start off at 436 
at 270 de degrees just to get that perfect spread okay right and there we go we are gonna turn on our fertilizer okay and we just want to keep it around that 270 degrees mark just so we we can just move along and work in a nine in 90 degree angles it sort of makes your life a little bit easier be 393 will be our next spot so now we're coming to the end and turn that off uh, we said 393 okay so we can just move along a little bit and go up to 393 and this is where we'll start our next line of fertilizer 393 there we go a little bit too far now three nine three come on sorry the camera angle didn't help with that I wonder what this farm actually is it's a bit weird it doesn't look like anything I'd normally be doing Right, okay, let's get ourselves at a 90 degree angle. And we're at 393. Now we can turn on this fertilizer spreader and do our second pass. So, 351 next. See, so already we're 47% through. And we've only used 400 litres of fertilizer so far, so we're not. We're not breaking any budgets or anything like that. 351 being the next. And I think we'll just be able to do a couple more passes and we should actually have completed the, this job in, in general. So I know I said 351, it doesn't matter if we're slightly over, there's going to be a one meter overlap, okay? I'm not too bothered about a one meter overlap. Okie dokie, we're just coming up to the end of our third pass. Now if you think about it, we've only been playing about 10 minutes so far. We've already nearly finished this crop. Okay, that's a pretty good start. So 352 and we'll go down to 310. I'm hoping that this will be our last pass now. Okay, don't mind missing a little bit of a gap. If it was my own farm, it'll be it'll be slightly different. I would mind, but because it's not mine, it's not going to make much of a difference. Because once I get that hundred percent complete, it's gonna it's gonna fill in the gaps anyway. So it doesn't matter. Now I am waiting for that contract complete to come up in the top right, where it says contract on field eleven is eighty five percent complete, and this is so then I don't waste any fertilizer because this stuff is expensive should be done any moment now there we go now as you can see we haven't fully fertilized this field Ooh, have I just fertilized a field full of weeds no well, what is on this field then um soybeans okay that's why i i don't recognize it. i haven't grown soybeans before so okay so i'll just turn the engine off so i don't waste any fuel and we will just go and collect our money from um that contract okay so five grand i know it's it, you know it doesn't seem like much profit but it's enough profit uh, for now so I'm thinking, I'm just debating whether I should actually accept a couple of these and just borrow the items and then hire someone to do it for me. Um, it will require us waiting around a bit, but it would also generate us another £12,000 
minus obviously our equipment so you know it'll be another I don't know nine eight or nine grand and ooh, I didn't mean to accept that like that well it looks like we're going to use our own equipment for that one <laughs> and then we'll borrow the items for this one oh what am I like all right okay so I'm just going to take my tractor back to the lot and then I'll have a look at purchasing a plow well I think I'm going to Rather than buying a small plow, I'm just going to grab a big one for for our sake, you know. Because if we are doing any plowing in the future, then we can just literally use a, a large plow, which will save a ton of time. Okay. Um, is it best to follow this road? No, let's just cut the field. It's all right. I'm friends with the owner. He doesn't mind. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, it's a new farming channel. No, we're not just going to be playing Farming Simulator over here. We are going to be playing multiple simulation games. Multiple survival games, because they are the genres which I play most, to be fair. So if you do have any recommendations for anything you'd like to see on this channel, then please do drop it down in the comment section. I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts on what you'd like to see next. Okay, so we are just coming back up to the shop. Um, I think I am going to run this back to my farm though, just to drop off a fertiliser spreader. And then I'll come back and move that to the, the farm. I didn't check to see which farm I've hired that for, so I could guess, but like, let's... Well, I've, I've, I've got to figure it out now. <laughs> what did we say? So, it was... Was it the the more expensive one we're doing with our own equipment and the cheaper one uh, we've just pinched equipment for? Us. So it would be based on the bigger one. So the smaller smaller one I can send that tractor to, and then the bigger the larger one I will bring my tractor. Okay, now we're back to the lot. I will just drop it off here, there, or anywhere. Doesn't really. Ooh, that's the wrong thing. Okay, I will drop that off. So something we do need to invest in is some shelter of some form, so we can shelter our equipment and stuff. I'm not sure if that affects the condition of the equipment. However, if it was in real life, you'd want to put it away because things get rusty if you leave them outside. So we've got number 28 and 47. If I remember rightly, 47 is quite a long... Um, straight of land and 28 is uh, very square um, now I'm doing this off memory so you know don't quote me <laughs> okay right so I'm just going to stop my engine and I will just have a quick look so yep yeah, number 28 is the one which we're doing with our equipment and number 20, 47 is the one we're doing with the hired equipment okay so I will just jump into the tractor oh, I like the sound of this tractor One thing I don't like about this game is the steering, is just how slow the steering is. Now, it can be beneficial sometimes, but yeah, in some circumstances it's not. I think it's so, yeah, rather than driving all the way here, I am just gonna get him to drive uh, himself, okay? And whilst we're waiting for him, we'll just check to see if there's any. Plows, no. Hmm. That might have been worth purchasing. Not going to though, because we don't actually need that right now. However, a plow is something. is It's like a long-term investment, isn't it? Oh, see, if you look at the power usage at the bottom, you can see these bigger ones we can't actually use with our tractor. Now we could, but it's not gonna. It's it's just not gonna do it fast enough. I think we're going to be stuck with a, 
this two and a half meter one, which was five rows at a time, which means it's going to take it's it is going to take a while just just to do that piece of land with that. Now I might I might just go for this and take the risk. Now normally I would want to go for something like that, like the PW one hundred, who's six meters, which requires a lot less effort. However, you need a large tractor to pull something like that. So I right, pulling it, but once you start actually ploughing, it just won't do anything. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this guy. I know it seems anticlimactic to do that, but when I invest in a bigger tractor in the future, it's I'm probably going to regret buying this. You know, it's an extra metre. It doesn't seem like that much, but for an extra seven and a half grand, it definitely seems worth it. So I will go for this. Oh, what's that? Paco mat. What's that do? Okay, so the Paco mat is apparently for pushing down stones. We don't need that. It's not worth the eight grand, so we're just gonna we're just gonna purchase as plower it is. Obviously, it's not the um, it's not the best of plows. It's only got seven ridges um, or seven blades, plow blades. I don't know what what you'd call them. And it does say that the AI is blocked by an object. Right, you're here, so just just chill, mate. Um, and then we will hook this guy up. If we can get it into position. And then we will fold it. And then rather than driving all the way over here, we are just going to do the same thing and just let the AI drive for us whilst we get this guy ready. Alright, so let's unfold that plough and let's see what we are working with here. I'm not sure if I've got enough weight on the other tractor, but it will just have to do for now. Uh, so we'll get him on a 90 degree angle, so being 270 degrees. And we'll lower that plough. And we'll start ploughing this bad boy. And then once um, once the other tractor gets to the location, I will get the AI to finish off ploughing for me. Now again, I'm not too bothered about accuracy here. It's not my own field, so I'm not I'm not bothered if I miss something or anything. At the end of the day, it's it's not my it's not my field as long as I get the hundred percent complete and I get paid as long as I get sorry motorbikes going past the house ooh what's going on here doesn't seem to want to plow that bit there okay right, I'm just gonna hire the AI because I found out a little bit odd how it didn't plough this area here. Hmm. Haven't a clue. Alright, okay. Ooh. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's let's take over and let's drive into the the plot ourselves. These guys they, they don't like being blocked by other vehicles. And we seem to get blocked rather easily. So the AI pathfinding is is alright, but it's it's not the best. I've I've found it going long way around and stuff like that when it could actually just it, it could take an alternative route like it doesn't like using these dirt paths as part of their journey um, which I find rather annoying sometimes but hey what can you do eh alright so we'll make sure we're at a 90 degree angle we'll unfold it um, and I think we're going to rotate it and start this way I'm hoping that this field isn't going to do the same thing where it's going to leave a bit of a gap somewhere because that was a little bit frustrating. Okay, let's get that centre line. That's, there we go. And we will just lower our plough. Ooh, this tractor really is going to struggle with this field. Let's hire a worker yeah the worker isn't having much trouble so we'll just have to do it like this Ooh. yeah I didn't think this through now did I guys 
However, I kind of made that mistake already now. So we're just going to have to deal with it. Let's see how this guy's doing. How much of a gap is going on over here? Okay, it's not too bad. I don't mind there being that little bit of a bush going on there. Uh, seems to be a bit of a traffic jam going on all around here. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick time lapse of this guy finishing off this field for you guys. Okay, so we spent about £1,000 in total in wages. Now, I know it seems anticlimactic, but, you know, given the amount of profit we are going to make from this job, it's definitely worth it. You know, we've got two jobs, two workers going on, both at the same time here. So it's not the end of the world. Now, I'm just going to have a check to see how the other worker is doing and how far he is getting through this. Seems to be doing a better job than I'd be able to do right now, due to the horsepower in the tractor. Um, obviously that hasn't really hasn't helped, not having a, a very powerful tractor. Um, but he seems to be getting through it pretty, pretty smoothly, to be honest. I'll have a quick look on the map. And as you can see, he's about, he's, he's about 30% through. Um, and this guy is about 40% through. Now let's have a look at our contract. So yeah, 31% for that one and 37% for this one here. Now a thousand pounds really doesn't seem like that much money in comparison to how much work and effort would actually have to go into all of this. So we're just going to leave them going and just see how far they're going to get through this.
Well, I think we're slowly getting there. I think we'll just reach 60% on this field, field number 47. Let's go and take another look at our other field. Okay, now it does look, it does appear that he has nearly finished. He is around the 60% mark as well. So we'll just double check to see. Oh, he's actually close to 70%. Brilliant. Uh, should I should say 70% now, 60, 62% for field 47. Um, let's just quickly check our spending on wages because this is where the costs are going to add up. So currently we spent £2,117 just on these two workers. Now it doesn't help that one of my workers is running very slow, uh, being this guy because I purchased the wrong plough. However, it's a little bit too late to go back on myself for that now. Um, once purchased, then you know, I'm just gonna make do. I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose half of the value of something. Um, so I really need a better tractor, I think. Um, however, for now, this tractor will just have to do. Um, and we'll probably, whenever ploughing with this tractor, we'll have to get AI to do it because it will be super frustrating to do it ourselves. Right, okay. Well, we're going to jump back into a, another time lapse again, um, just whilst these guys finish off. We will come back to this guy though because he's actually working at a decent pace. Right, so we're coming up to the end of our ploughing session. I'm just going to finish off this this um, field for now. Uh, let me just quickly lower that plough again. I'm just going to finish this one off. Uh, just to save a little bit of money. It's not going to save us much money, but it's going to save us something, okay? Um, now, I think... If I just stick that on cruise control. Um, and have a quick look in here. Oh, we have already completed this, so I can just do that. Um, and for some reason, it hasn't returned the tractor. Am I using the wrong tractor for the wrong thing? I don't think the game allows that. Odd. Let's lift that plow. Um, uh, rotate it. 
That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'm just wondering if I have been doing the correct fields with the correct tools, because it could be a possibility that I've just used the wrong tractor on the wrong field, because normally you, you finish a contract and it will return the, uh, the tractor and the tools to the shop, but it hasn't on this instance, so I'm just just curious actually to see if I am doing it on the right farms or not. I find it a little bit strange that. Ooh. So let's see if we can go over to this one over here and do a quick plow on here or not. But like I say, normally it won't allow you to use tools which are hired for other fields on other fields so this might could potentially be a bug um, so we'll just quickly unfold that like if if so then I guess that would work because it means oh yeah I potentially might have used the wrong plow on the wrong fields um, not to worry anyway um, so hopefully, <laughs> we'll see, like we can help this guy finish off this field now. Right, okay, we have finished, so we will just stop him from working as well. Um, and let's see, what's going on here? Okay, yeah, I have been using the wrong tractors. Now, isn't that interesting? So in the future, I could essentially lease a tractor with one of the jobs and use that tractor on all of them to save on uh, the maintenance on my own, potentially. I guess we'll see tomorrow, because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a night's kip um, in the game, by the way. I'm going to get a good night's rest and see what contracts are available tomorrow because I believe we've still got two months until we can harvest our farm now sometimes it, you know people will probably be questioning why am I sat there with 350 grand and not purchasing more land I don't want to have to purchase more land just yet um, because I'm gonna need a bunch more tools so I'm gonna need a harvester uh, I'm going to need a header for the harvester because I think we've got, is it a cornfield? So, and cornfields are a little bit more expensive, um, especially the headers, um, to, to obviously harvest. I kind of want a decent harvester as well. I don't want to get the cheapest one because the cheapest ones aren't, aren't that great, to be honest. Um, so... Let's have a quick look at the contracts. There are no contracts. And we'll quickly check to see this corn. So yeah, we do have two months. And that's not guaranteed. It could be three months. It could be November when I need to harvest this. Um, if we go to corn and check to see the price fluctuations. Um, January is the best time to be selling. So I'm probably going to hold it until January. Um, and then sell it just so I, I get more out of it because obviously we're in what month are we in in the game we're in August at the moment so August from here on out the price just drops and drops and drops and then January it, it peaks so I think I'm gonna hold on to the corn until January and then get rid of it um, so I can maximize profits because the last thing I need to be doing is um, say October comes around I it will sell for like 200 250 to 300 pounds whereas if I wait three more months that's an extra 200 pounds per I think it's a hundred liters I'm just gonna check my finances though because I've spent three grand on wages and I made 17 grand in contracts okay um, which actually isn't that bad 
So, you know, given all of our costs, we've spent five and a half grand on fertilizer, which we've only used a fraction of it, and we spent three grand just on on wages. Now, after paying out for our vehicles, we're about five grand up. Right, so I'm going to go to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. And straight away, day two, we're going to go straight to here because we've got all of these. Uh, that's except that one, fertilizing, uh, that one, and that one. Okay, you can only have a maximum of three, but I just wanted the three most expensive as soon as possible. Um, now, that seems a little bit worth it, but it does require a lot of a lot of work, that, that one will. Oh, it's gone already, so someone else has taken that up. Um, that potentially could be worth it if it's still there later. Um, and that one doesn't seem worth it at all. Okay, oh, well, now that 20 grand one's disappeared. Um, <clears throat> and the 16 grand one has. Which makes sense, really, you know, the big jobs people are going to want to do. So we've got these free fertilising jobs, which is great. You know, that's that's another 25 grand sat right there, just in contracts. We have this great big one, which is probably the 12 grand contract. And then we have these two over here, 9 and 11. Now I'm probably going to have to purchase some more fertiliser at some point. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on these two first. See where I'm at with how much fertilizer I have left and and then I will go and top up my fertilizer and do number 30. I think what I'll do tomorrow as well is I might wake up an hour earlier get up at 7 a.m. because that might give me more of an opportunity to get the bigger jobs because um, obviously they, they disappeared pretty fast which is understandable but I'd like to make the most out of the day. So I think profit wise, um, we should wake up an hour earlier and see if that makes much of a difference. I'll just fill up on my fertilizer and then off we go. There we go. This should be more than enough to do both of these over here. We should use around a thousand liters each. Um, hopefully no more than that. And it shouldn't take too long either. So I'll I'll see you when we get there. Right, okay, so we've arrived at field number nine. Um it's a bit of an odd shaped field. Uh, let's just check it out on the map. Um it is an odd shape. Now normally I like to start on a ninety degree angle. But, this looks like it's probably best if I did go lengthways, you know, join, uh, along the longest points. Uh, just so then there's less turning it off and turning around. There we go. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Right, okay, so we will go down to the contracts and just hand that, hand that job in, take that money, and whilst we're here, oh, we can, we can accept that one as well. So field 15. Yeah, I definitely see today being a very profitable day. Um, I think we'll go do 11 first, it's slightly smaller, it shouldn't take us half as long to do.
should be complete any moment now. Hold on. Sometime today. Is that reaching the end? There we go. And we're not going to obviously do it perfectly because, well, there's no no point. Because um, it'll just automatically complete it for you. So yeah, I think... So we have that one, this one, this one. Mm, it might be worth doing that. So I will just accept that. I think what I'm actually going to do, because they only used around a thousand liters, and I'm just going to trial it anyway. I'm going to see if, I'm going to see if I can do it with what's left in my tank. I think, and this this one's pretty square. Uh, I'd say that's around 21 meters. Six percent complete. Yeah, we're not going to make it. It's so close, though. So, so close. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Damn it, I bet it's at like 99% or something. What are we at? 96. Okay, well we'll go fill up. We'll, we'll go and fill up then. I'm just. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go down here. Just three more bags. So another five and a half thousand pounds. Right, and here we are. So we need to be at six one four again. Now I believe I did this half of it. And we've just got a little bit to go down here. So we'll just... No, I won't turn it on just yet. I don't want to waste any fertiliser. But I think from here... If we do this, 96%. And contract will complete. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so we'll collect that money as well. Oh, that was seven and a half grand, that one. It's not too bad. So we probably will need to refill for this guy, but this one we'll be able to do on the tank we've got already. So I'm just thinking where 32 is now. It is on the other side of the river, I believe. Pretty sure it's the one close to my my farm. Okay, let's have a look at the shape of this guy. So 32, another awkward shape, I think I'm going to start on this side and then work our way across. Uh, 
one should be finished any moment now. And there we go. Okay, and again we will cash that in. It's another quick and easy five grand. So today already we have made twenty-five thousand pounds just from fertilizing. So we've already paid for our fertilizer. Um, well, I say fertilizer, I mean the actual fertilizer machine. If you include yesterday's income too, because uh, obviously we've got our fertilizer costs and wages on top of that. Um, but seven two eighty on fertilizer. That's not too bad. So we've got sixty seven percent of our tank left. So I think I'm gonna go pick up one more bag of fertilizer and then we'll finish off there on field thirty. I think at that point we will have made a decent profit today. Slowly making back what what we've spent on the tractor as well. And maybe if we do some mowing and stuff like that, this tractor might actually do my mowing for me. We'll see. Um, however, we have got it so then um, it can be a front loader too, so um, it's got multiple uses. I won't be putting front loaders on any other tractors, just this one. So this, this tractor is going to have, it's going to have a long lifespan, it's going to be used for a while. Um, so I just need one bag, don't I? I just can't fit any more than that in. I think with number 30, we will go to the far side. Because uh, it is quite a big one really don't like the shape of this field in all honesty but it is quite a profitable field so we'll start at around here i think now i think i am reaching the edge there yeah i am Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that. Sometimes my computer jitters a little bit, so we, we had like 30 frames per second and lost there. Just for a brief moment. If anyone knows what that's about, you could please let me know in the comments. I didn't even do my maths then. I'm going to bodge this one right up now. It's fine. I'll just hire a worker. But yeah, so um, my computer, for some reason, uh, it's been doing it since I built it. Um, but for some reason, it has this little frame rate jitter. It like, drops to 30 frames per second, but it's like proper jitters. Now, I have never actually recorded whilst it's happened, so um, I'd love to hear what you guys think that's about, because like it, it baffles me. It's been baffling me since I've, I built it. Now, I probably should have returned some parts, but it's figuring out what's causing it is the problem. So if you could let me know in the comment section what you think that might be. Because I'd love to know. Because I think my parts are still under warranty as well. So, you know, if, if it is like my graphics card or something like that, then, yeah, um, I'll, just, I'll just send that back and uh, get a replacement. I'm going to have to make the width of my tool a little bit less though, maybe even maybe half it, because I think I might be able to get away with it. 
Alright, so we'll say 1009 plus 42 is 151, 1051. However, 1051 will take me off the map. So if we do this and then just ooh, change that to like 30 meters or something. Mm, yeah, we are going to get away with not doing it. There we go. Ooh. Let's actually have a look to see how much of this we have plowed. Uh, fertilizers. Look at all this which I've missed. But yet the contract is finished. So I'll take that as a win and that way I can save some money on fertilizer. There we go, there's our contracts done. There are these three fertilizing contracts. Um, this one will probably take a couple of minutes to be honest. And, and these two won't take too long because they're quite small. Um, and then we've got a bunch of plowing contracts which we can always move on to. Um, if we just hire a bunch of workers, it's a shame you can only do three contracts at a time because I'd, I'd love to do more than three. Uh, but it is what it is. Yeah, I think that's all for today, guys. Thank you, thank you all for joining us on this little journey of ours. And I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this series so far. If you have any thoughts on on what I should do next or, or anything like that um, or if you have any sort of simulation games or even survival games which you think um, we we all might uh, benefit from me playing and please do let me know in the in the comments but don't forget to like and subscribe though because that will help the algorithm show this to more people now I am a brand new channel so it's going to be tough and there's probably not going to be many of you watching this but those of you who do, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.